Hey folks, hey, what's going on? Hey, this is Wesley, million dollar version, and um, I'm excited. Uh, I know I haven't been online in a while doing these live videos, but I felt compelled to do one today. Um, I hope everybody's doing fine today, and I want to talk about a topic. Um, recently, I was banned. My Facebook account, one of the accounts that I have on Facebook was banned, and um, it's because I recorded this one video. And guys, if you don't know me, my name is Wesley Million Dollar Version. I'm a multimillionaire. I say that very humbly. And basically, my purpose in life is to help you become successful. It's to help you to be able to control your destiny. And they banned my Facebook account because I recorded this video. And it's called Disconnect. If you haven't watched that video, guys, go to WesleyVirgin.com. That's probably the most shared and most liked video and disliked video um, of me recording all these different episodes here. And I, I, I talk about the topic of friends. You know, your friends, right? Your peers. And, but I wanted to do another video and I wanted to refine that. And this video is titled that we, you, Live by the standards of your peer group. Let me say that one more time. I want now, folks. I need you to be fired up tonight because I'm going to give you some tools and I'm going to give you some some stuff that you probably never heard before. But a lot of people that watch me, the the, the number one question they have is this. Maybe you have the same question, Wesley. Why hasn't it happened for me yet? You know, I'm doing all the right things. I'm reading the books. I'm going to the events. You know, I'm reconditioning my mind. And it's just not working. The business is not taking off. Um, I don't see how I'm going to make the income. Um, I'm working on my goal, but I don't see the results. And the thing or the topic that I'm going to talk about tonight is, in my opinion, why 97% of people in the world would never ever have a life of abundance. And I'm gonna tell my personal story, guys. When I was in my 20s, guys. Now, I know, I know you think I'm 20 years old, right? Yeah, I'm not 20, guys. Um, so yeah, when I was in my 20s, um, and what's up, guys? Carlos, Sonia, let me show you guys some love. Aria, Jenna, Michael, Saku, Daniel, Mitch, Whitlow. Hey guys, thanks for sharing and liking this video as well. Um, thanks for showing me that love. But when I was in my 20s, I remember going to network marketing seminars. Anybody did that? You know, the network marketing, the pyramid schemes. They're not pyramid schemes, but you know what I mean. Um, I've been to real estate events. You know, you ever went to those little rooms where they talk to you and they tell you stories about how you can be successful, how you're gonna win, how you're gonna make all this money, right? And I would see people make the money. I saw people driving the cars of my dreams. I even had the chance to go to their houses. And it was beautiful, mansions. I saw their maids, their selves. I saw their suits. And I was like, man, I want this. And I remember being in the business and it never happened for me. You know, I remember I was trying to just to get to one level. You know, in different companies, you got diamond, you you have um, you know all these different levels, platinum. Uh, well, I couldn't even hit level number one. And I had, and I see these guys that were making fifty, hundred thousand dollars a month, twenty thousand dollars a month, and Wesley couldn't recruit five people in his business, and I couldn't figure that out. And it had. And you know what? This was years. Because I don't know about you, I jumped from company to company to company, opportunity to opportunity. Let's try this. Let's do this. I even bought CD programs, watching TV at night, bought that program, reading the program, trying to understand how it works. I could be a millionaire. Guys, I did that in my 20s. But now in my 30s, I understood one thing. See, if I could talk to myself, as like I'm in my 30s now. If I could talk to myself in my 20s 
there was one thing that I was not committed to doing. And you know, it was that one thing that even the people that were mentoring me, they didn't tell me about this. Or I didn't understand it logically. My peer group or your peer group, you live according to the standards of that group. Which means this, at that time I was driving a Taurus. So my friends, that I, they were my friends. They didn't drive Tauruses, but they had Honda Accords, right? Um, they had Cavaliers, right? Nothing wrong with these cars, but that's what the type of cars that they drove. I had stayed in an apartment. My friends, my closest friends, they stayed in apartments, right? Um, you know, when we used to go out to the club, you know, go party, you know, get my dab on. All me and my friends, we waited in lines. You know, not the VIP line, not the table line. We were in lines, right? With our money waiting, with our license, right? Waiting to get in the club. Um, write this down. You're living by the standards of your peer group, which means this. It doesn't matter how many seminars you go to. It doesn't matter how much you listen to WesleyVirgin.com. It doesn't matter how many audio cassettes, audio programs that you feed into your brain. It doesn't matter how many videos you create online. It doesn't matter how many customers that you're trying to pull into your business. If you don't change your peer group, you will never feel the uncomfort or the discomfort to be able to become a very successful individual. So you have to think about it like this. Like right now, we have the AC, okay? My AC is at 71 degrees. Now outside, maybe it's a little warm. Okay, now if I open up my window, okay, and my AC is on 71, what happens is it starts to get hot in the house, right? Follow me, guys. Please get me on this. It starts to heat up, right? Now, can anybody tell me if it starts to heat up in my apartment, what happens to the AC? It comes on. And what the AC is, because see, right now, it's 71 degrees, but when I open up the door, it jumps up to 80 degrees, because it's hot outside, it's 90 degrees outside, right? Now it jumps up to 90 degrees, that's the temperature. The AC kicks on, and what does it do? It brings it down, back to 71 degrees. It's the same thing what's happening to you. It happened to me. See, it didn't matter, you know, I was in a motivational seminar, I was learning from these people, I was, you know, but the thing is, that was about one hour that day. But when I would go home, I'm still having the conversations with Pookie and Ray Ray. I'm still answering their text messages, hey, what are we going to do tonight? Hey, what are we going to do this weekend? Hey, what's happening to you? Oh, you having a baby? Oh, you got a new girlfriend? Oh, you got a new boyfriend? Oh, what's going on? I'm, I'm having conversations with the peer group that's living a lifestyle that I'm trying to get away from. See, this is why Napoleon Hill says, a man gets what he thinks about all day long. We get what we picture, what we think about all day long. See, some of you guys, you're going out there, you're seeing an opportunity, right? There's so many ways to make money, over millions of ways to make millions of dollars, guys. But most of your time is around the peer group. And if you don't have friends that have Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces, mansions, flying around the world, flying first class, staying in five-star hotels, wearing Gucci, wearing Prada, wearing Louboutins, right? If you don't have those type of friends, If that's not your peer group, you 
nothing is going to frustrate you. Nothing is going to disturb you. Guys, let me share something about myself. You don't see me with a lot of people, do you? Anybody here at my house? When I make videos in my cars, do you see anybody riding with me? Do you see guys hanging with me in my vehicle? Do you see a, bu a bunch of guys hanging with me? No. See, my closest top five friends, they make more money than me. They're living life on a different level. They're doing some things I can't do because I can't, I mean, I'm not able to afford it right now. These are my friends. And guess what? The friends that I call friends, I maybe talk to them two to three times a year. My friends, I probably see them one time a year. These are my friends. I got a friend right now in business. Man, they do a hundred million dollars in sales a year. That's my friend. So when I think about him, I'm like, man. He told me another day, he said, Wes, I got $50 million in my account. What, what, what you sitting at? <laughs> I'm like, wow. It gives me the opportunity to say, yes, I'm doing well, but I can raise my standard. But if I hang around people who are doing just a million dollars in sales, which I'm doing, right? Or, you know what I used to do too? And let me know if you're guilty of this. Are you that person that hang around people that you better than? You know, girls do this all the time. Girls, they usually hang around girls that they're prettier. I mean, it's not prettier than them. Or guys, you want to hang around guys that are less successful than you. Right, so you can feel good about yourself. Yeah, I got a better car. I got a Range Rover. All my other friends got Honda Accords. Well, I got a master's degree. All my other friends, they don't have degrees yet. And you're trying to teach them. And you feel good about yourself. Because you're doing better than your friends. But guess what? Guess what? You're the dumbest person in the room, my friend. You're the dumbest person in the room. You might think you're the smartest person, but see, you are gauging you, yourself, on the standards of your peer group. Just because they're not, they don't have an apartment yet, they're still staying with their mother and dad, and you got an apartment, you want to feel good about yourself. You have an apartment, or you have a house, they have apartments, you want to feel good about yourself. Maybe you have a director job. Maybe you're making... $20 an hour. All your friends, they don't have college degrees. Now you want to feel good about yourself. Let me share something with you. And this is what I had to come to reality with myself. Because someone told me, said, Wesley, if you keep hanging around people that are lesser than you, or you have accomplished things that they have not, you will never enter the land of paradise. Because you're too busy feeling good about yourself based off the peer group. See, me, I was in a peer group. I was always doing better than everybody. I always made more money than everybody. I always had the better cars than everybody. And I thought I was doing well. But at the same time, I wanted to make millions of dollars. At the same time, I wanted to do some of the things that I saw on TV. I wanted to drive some of the cars that I saw people drive. I want to stay in some of the homes that I saw people live in. Some of you guys that's watching this video here today, you're guilty. You're guilty of it. That's why you're not successful. That's why you're not making the money. Because you're around the same group of people. You can't release from them. They pull too hard on your heart. You're so emotional. You're so tied to them. What well, are my friend? Ten years. You live your life. Let me share something with you. Get around some people that their car that they drive every day is a Lamborghini. Get around some people that when they go out, they don't wait in lines. 
They get escorted into the club before you. Get around some people that they don't fly coach. They fly first class everywhere they go. Get around some people who go to five-star restaurants. Not Denny's. Not Chili's. Not, there's nothing wrong with those restaurants. But they don't, they don't go to these places. They go to the Martins, right? The steakhouses. They go to with a bill like Nobu. My bill at Nobu in Vegas was $1,000. It was nothing. Get around these people and watch you feel uncomfortable. Woo! Write that down. Oh, write that down. Yeah, watch you feel uncomfortable once you put yourself around different people. See, you can't even imagine sitting down at a restaurant and the waiter comes to you and give you a bill for $1,000. You're like, that's crazy. But you want to be rich. You'll be like, oh, that's stupid. That's too much money. That's a waste of money. But you want to be rich? See, you're still living and playing the game on the standards of your peers. Because, see, none of your peers will pay $1,000, right? For a meal. <laughs> none of your peers, they'll rather fly coach rather than first class. Because they say, well, I'm saving money. Your peers... But rather get a car that's more economical than get the car that they want. That's your peers, man. Your peers would rather play it safe than take fucking risk. Your peers. It's going to justify why they are and why they are, are acting or why they are like they are. They're going to justify that. And guess what? You will too. And guess what? If you stay around these type of people, you'll never be successful, man. Not on a high level. You, you'll never make six figures a month. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Millions of dollars a month. You never do it. Because you're looking at videos like this, you get inspired, you like Wesley, he helps me out. Then once you turn off this fucking video, you go back to Pookie and Ray Ray. You go back to the same people that are living the same life that you don't want to live. Having the same type of conversations, going to the same places, doing the same things. But yet, you want to make a million dollars? Write this down. You get what you think about and what you focus on most of the time. This is why I tell you, you know, I'm not just telling you to go to WesleyVirgin.com because I want you to just uh, be on my website so I can make money, so I can be, oh, I'm this big guy. No, I'm doing it because I love you. I'm doing it because I wish someone told me this. I wish someone said, well, Wesley, you have to spend a big majority of your time reconditioning your mind that you need to be around. Say if you can't be around a millionaire. Well, guess what? You can search on YouTube and you can hear a millionaire pour into your life. Guess what? Maybe you can't buy the Bentley right now, but you can go to the damn Bentley dealership. You don't have to have the money to go through the door. You don't have to have the money to do a test drive. You don't have to have the money to sit down and talk to the salesman. You don't have to have the money to go into the neighborhood of your dreams. No one is going to tell you to get out of there. No one's going to shoot you. No one's going to arrest you. But your problem is your peer group. And you're living by the standards of your peer group. I want everybody that's watching this video here. And I want you to be honest with yourself. Alright? I'm going to tell you this out of love. I want you to think about the five friends that are in your life right now. Think about them. Don't say them out loud. We don't want to embarrass anybody. But I want you to honestly think about the five people that are in your life that you call your friends. I don't care if it's two, three. But think about those people. And I want you to think about what do they drive? What type of house or apartment do they live in? What type of restaurants do they go to? How often do they travel? Do they have a job or are they an entrepreneur? Think about their family life. Are they a person that complain? 
Are they a person that bitch and whine about their problems? Are they a person that's always telling you how bad their life is? Are they a person that's always coming to you for advice? Think about them. You know, the best thing I've ever did in life, and most of you are going to hate this, and you're not going to like it. That's why my video got banned. The best thing I did in life is learn how to isolate myself. Learn how to say, Wesley, it is okay that you are alone. It's okay. It's okay that you don't have many friends. It's okay. It's okay that you just buy yourself driving your seven exotic cars. It's okay. It's okay that when you fly around the world, you're by yourself. It's okay. That was the best thing I did for myself. Most of you are afraid to be alone. Because see, when you're alone, you think about thoughts, negative thoughts. You think about your day. You think about your life. And it consumes your mind. And you think about how you are not achieving. You think about how you're not taking advantage of your potential. And you go grab that wine. You go grab that beer. You go get that weed. You go get that drug. To try to cover up the feeling. To try to not think about that stuff. Until you get to know yourself, you. And the only way to get to know yourself is by separating yourself. Let me say that one more time. The only way a man or a woman can get to know who they really are is to separate themselves from Pookie and Ray Ray. Separate themselves from the friend they've had for the last 10, 15 years. Separate themselves from the high school friends, from the college friends, from mama, from daddy. Because you got to find out who you are. You have spent your entire life of other people telling you who you are. Teachers, oh, you're a loser. Spouses, you're a cheater. You're sorry. People on TV, they're telling you, you need to take this drug because you're depressed. Well, if you're overweight, you need to do this. You have spent your life of other people telling you how to live your life. And what I'm telling you out of love, what I'm telling you from my heart, that if you do not take ownership of your life, if you don't, if you don't isolate yourself right now, you're going to die with your dreams. You know the graveyard? Graveyard is the place where there are so many dreams that the world would never see. So many ideals that the world would never see. So many thoughts, so many inventions, they're at the graveyard because you have so many people now today that are 80, 90, 70 years old. They regret it. They regret that they didn't take the risk. They regret that they didn't take the opportunity they regret that they have wasted their life for 70, 60 years. They regret it. The question is, what are you going to do? I'm not saying it's easy. Hey, man, it's not hard. It's not easy disconnecting from old friends. It's not easy putting yourself in a situation that's very uncomfortable. Shit, it was uncomfortable for me. Sometimes it still is. Shit, I can't have this type of body if I'm not experiencing some type of uncomfort. Some of you guys don't want to go work out. Oh, it hurt too bad. I don't want to get sore. Well, I'm sore for five days. I can't work out for five more days. Most of you that are watching my stuff, you don't want any uncomfort in your life. You want to play it fucking safe. But let me share something with you. A safe life is an average life. A safe life? <laughs> Do you think people that have a safe life drive the cars of their dreams? Do you think people that have a safe life are able to control their destiny? Do you think people with a safe life 
live in the lavish houses, apartments around the world? Do you people with a safe life? entrepreneurs that are successful? You think Oprah Winfrey thinks about her life that she's living a safe life? You think Mark Cuban thinks about, yeah, I gotta live a safe life? A safe life is the person that says, well, let me be cautious about these things. Let me think about all the disadvantages first before I do something. Let me go ask my friends if I should do this. I know everybody that's watching me have done this because you know why I'm guilty of this you get an opportunity someone tells you something I was having a conversation today with a young man and I'm talking about I'm doing some investments that's going to bring me a very large return and he said man you crazy that don't make any sense he said oh man come on Wesley that's that's not true it's peer group see the only reason why he'll say that's not true because everybody including himself in his peer group they won't believe it. So if they don't believe it, why would he believe it? But yet, he wants to be on my side of the spectrum. This is the life you want to live. Do you understand there are certain things, there are certain beliefs that you have in your life. It's the reason why your life is what it is right now. And until you understand, until you assimilate some new thought, or get around some new people, or listen to some new information, your life will repeat itself in 2018. And you'll get the same type of results. And you have those same friends, that same house, that same apartment, that same spouse, that same person, that same car, that same bus pass, same clothes, same shoes. Guys, ladies, what we talked about tonight was you live by the standards of your peer group. It is more than learning a new skill to make money. You need more than just going to a seminar or listening to a video like you are now. You need more than just listening to an audio tape or going to an opportunity meeting. You have to fight and surround yourself with those who have the things that you want. You have to release the people from your life. It is okay to be alone. It's okay to be alone. Do you hear me? It's okay to be by yourself. Then now you can get to know yourself. Some of you guys don't even know who you are. If I ask you, who are you, Kimberly? Who are you, Reginald? Who are you, Ivory? Who are you, Trenisa, Shanika, Aaron? Who are you? Who are you, Michael? You know the first thing you're going to say? I already know. You're going to say, well, I'm a teacher. I'm a lawyer. I'm a this. I'm a this. He's just going to tell me what you do as a profession. And you think that's who you are. No. You're a God. You are powerful. <laughs> you are omnipotent. You are lying. You're courageous. You're strong. You're a leader. That's who you are. Most of us, we spend so much time and waste so much time. You know, everybody here wants to make the money. Everybody here wants to make or have the life, the good life, the good life, right? But no one's prepared to do it. No one's prepared to jump. You know, Steve Harvey says you have, you have to jump. You got to jump off that cliff. Some of you guys are on the edge of that cliff. You know, you're just like, oh my God, I'm scared. Wow. Some of you guys are just 
The cliff is right here. You wait over there. You think, oh, I'm not going to that cliff. Oh, I'm not jumping off that cliff. You crazy. What if I die? What if the parachute doesn't open? I got kids. I got family. I can't jump off that cliff. But if you never jump, you'll never soar. If you don't jump, you'll never soar, my friend. Yeah, you'll be safe. You'll be okay. You'll be safe with that job that's paying you that same amount of money every single week, every single two weeks, waiting for the boss to give you the check. That's insane. Waiting for the boss. Waiting after my two weeks so I can put more money in my bank account? Waiting for the boss to approve my vacation? Who is this mother... Are you kidding me? I gotta wait for you to approve something? So I'm like waiting. Oh, please. Oh, I hope you approve my vacation because me and my kids want to go to Disney where we saved up all that money for a year and we really want to go. I hope he approves it and he don't approve it. Why did you approve it? You're arguing with a... With another grown person. Only because you're acting like a child. Take responsibility. If you don't jump, you will never soar. And when you jump, as Steve Harvey put it, he says your parachute is not going to open right away. It's just not. You're going to get scared. You're going to get some cuts. You're going to get some scrapes. You're going to hit the rocks. And guess what? Even when you jump, to be honest with you, it's no guarantee that your parachute is going to open. <sighs> yeah, let me say that again. It is no guarantee, even when you jump towards your dreams, you know, when you get fucking bold and you say, fuck it, I'm done. And you jump, it is no guarantee that your parachute is going to open and you're going to be able to soar. See, you watch my stuff because you want me to give you a guarantee in life. You want me to guarantee you that if you watch my videos, you listen to my CD audio, I give you tools, I give you techniques, that it's going to be a guarantee within six months, one year, two years, that you're going to make a million dollars. I know you are. You know how I know this? Because I used to be that guy. I was him. I, I was looking for a guarantee. I didn't want to waste time. I wanted to make sure I vetted the ideal. I asked everybody. I, I asked everybody except the person I should be asking. The person that was living the life that I wanted. And I can't give you a guarantee. Some people are going to jump and their parachute is not going to open. Some people are going to jump and that motherfucker is going to open at the last minute. Some people are going to jump, parachute is going to open quick. Some people going to have to wait a while. Question is, which one are you? See, one thing I learned in life, that any guarantee that I wanted, I created it. I said, I will make a million dollars. I said, fuck it. I am. I'm Wesley Virgin. Matter of fact, I'm Wesley Million Dollar Virgin. What do you mean? Steve Jobs, Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Elon Musk. Right? Tom Cruise, Halle Berry, Will Smith. These guys are no better than me. Period. They have arms. They have legs. They can speak. We, we have the same thing. You are no different than me. I just believe in me more than you believe in yourself. Let me say that one more time. I, Wesley Virgin, just believe in me. See, I believed in myself when I had nothing. Nothing. When everybody told me that I was stupid, for leaving an engineering job that paid me $100,000 a year. They said, you crazy. What are you doing? That doesn't make sense. You don't have a backup plan, Wesley. You don't have a plan B, Wesley. What are you doing? I said, I'm chasing my fucking dream. And I might lose it all. So what? 
It may be nice, I can't eat. So what? I want it. I want it. And I got it. Because I made a promise to myself. I hope you all make a promise to yourself that I would not give up. Everybody that's watching my video, you're in a different stage in your life. Some of you guys, you're still working a job. You have the ideal, you want to jump, but you're scared. Some of you guys have already jumped. You're an entrepreneur now, and your business is not working, right? Some of you guys, you're making a little money, but not enough money to be just self-sufficient. Some of you guys are making a little more money, but not enough money to get maybe the cars or the house of your dream. Everybody's in a different stage of life. But for you to go to the next stage, you have to raise your standards. Get around people that raise their standards. Check this out. If you were around me every day, two things would happen. You would either hate me or you would love me. Because see, when people are around me and I inspire people everywhere I go, I love people, I love helping them out. You will either, I will either disturb you and it will piss you off. Because I will touch you emotionally. You'd be like, damn, he's right. But I can't do it right now. You piss me off, Wesley. Or you'll take a risk. You'll jump. Just, just think about it. If you was around Oprah Winfrey every single day, if you was around Michael Jordan every single day, if you was around Steve Jobs, if you were still living every single day, Magic Johnson, every day you were around these people, every day. Do you think you'll be doing what you're doing? Do you think you'll say, well, Wesley, it's not the right time for me. Well, I'm waiting on the timing, Wesley, but I want to make sure that I have this job. No, because these people say that's stupid, that's dumb. There's no such thing as the right time to do nothing. The time is now, now. You know, it's no waiting. You've already been waiting for the last 10, 15, 20, 30 years of your life. If you ain't did it now, if you ain't did it then, what makes you think you're going to do it later? It's no such time as the right time. You need to raise your standards. Put yourself in an environment of winners. Put yourself in an environment of people that's going to disturb you. That's going to piss you off a little bit. Only because they're playing the game that you want to play. They're playing it on another level and they're playing it successfully. And they're smiling. And they're enjoying life while they're doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, before I close this video, man. I wish. You know, I do this because, I, you know, I wish I had someone that was doing this for me. And I hope that you're grateful for what I'm doing here. You know, I know a lot of these videos, they get negative comments, they get positive comments. And sometimes Facebook, you know, when they see this stuff, if, you know, based off the negativity that I get on these videos, only because I'm speaking the truth from my heart, because I've been there when I had nothing, I'm still doing it. They closed this account, I'll open up another account because I got people out there that's like you. I want to fucking win. I know it. Because I see your videos. I see what you post. I see your transition. I see the struggle. I see the emotional disturbance that you're going through. I've been there. You know how you go up and down. You're happy, then you're down. You're like, when is it going to happen? It's going to happen. Yes. Well, when is it going to happen? Oh my God, I'm tired. It's going to work. Right? That's a great place to be. But what I'm saying is get along. Get along with yourself. Talk to yourself. Challenge your thoughts. Challenge your beliefs. Because you're living from the beliefs of your friends. Of the people that are around you most of the time. The people that's in your phones, right, that you're texting. The people that you go out on the weekend. You know who the people, you know the first person you call, you know who that is. You have people in your life that you call every single day. But yet, you want to be like an Oprah Winfrey, like a Michael Jordan, like an Amazon.com owner, like a Facebook.com owner. You want to be like these guys. 
You're going to talk to these guys. All of a sudden, now you have a dream and you want it. Now you want to email someone that is a millionaire or is a billionaire that are doing great things and you want them to respond to you. Hey, listen to me. Come here. They're not fucking Pookie and Ray Ray. They're not your friends. Okay? Listen to me. They're not your friends. See, you're mistaken. See, you're trying to judge what's going on with your friends and you're trying, you think that, well, if I reach out to Tyler Perry, he should respond to my email. Why? Ask yourself, why? If you email me, why should I respond to you? Even though I do respond to people because I love people sometimes, sometimes I don't. But the question is, why should I respond? Just because today you decided that you're going to be a different person? Today that you're going to stop all those dumb ass, crazy ass habits? Just today because you decide that you need to take fucking ownership of your life? Just today you decide that, wow, I am not living my dreams and I want to live better. Just because you decide that today you think people should just come to you and say, okay, come on, let me take care of you. Let me show you the way. No, it's a fight. Football players, when they play football, guess what? They have an opposing team. And when they're running towards the goal, they have maybe 10 or 15 men in front of them that's trying to whoop their ass, trying to stop their ass in their tracks not to get to the goal. See, it wouldn't be a game if you didn't have two teams. If it was one team, nobody would show up. Why? Because there's no challenges. It's no yes. It's no good tackle. It's no um, touchdown um, um, pass. It's no wide receiver catching the interception. It's no running back, you know, hooking and, you know, doing audibles and spinning around or whatever, right? It's two teams. That's what makes it enjoyable. Some of you guys that's watching this video, you want to be the only player on the field. Just because you made a decision that you want to take control of your fucking life? Guess what, baby? Now that you're aware, guess what? You have a 10, you have a team that's in front of you that's trying to do whatever it takes to keep you from succeeding. They will lose their life to keep you from making the touchdown. Because that's how the game is played. And guess what? I wouldn't want to play that game any other way. See, I don't want to get on the field and just, just run to just run the touchdown without going through the tackles or going through the tight ends. No, hell no. See, the joy comes from the wide receiver or the running back that when they kick the ball and he catch it, and he have to go through all these obstacles. Right? Turning, spinning, ducking, jumping. And it gets to the goal, touchdown, baby. It makes it all worth it. I know you think you want it easy. I know you want this smooth line to success, but it's not. You got to make some left, some turns, some hooks, some jumps. Sometimes you got to wait till next season because you got hurt. Sometimes you got to call a timeout. Because you have to re-strategize. You got to pivot sometimes. Sometimes you got to talk to your coach. Coach, what am I doing wrong? Sometimes the coach is going to say, get out the game. You're not ready yet. Sometimes you're going to get cut. That's how it's played, baby. But you got to fight. See, the ones that don't internalize that. See, some of you guys, you internalize the criticism. You internalize the painful experiences. You internalize that shit. Don't internalize. You internalize rejection. It's okay. Don't internalize it. Accept it. Be a man. Get up and go. You fall down. Turn around. Look up. Thank God. Be grateful that you're not dead. And keep going. The only reason why I say success is really not that hard because you won't die. Let me say that one more time, then I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for sharing and liking this video. Guys, if you got any value, please share and like this video. But check this out, guys. The only reason I say success is fucking easy, because you will not die in the process. You won't die. They're not going to bury you, 
Because you try so hard that you kill yourself. No. You may be broke. You may lose things. People may not like you. They may hate you. And they may despise you. But you won't die. And as long as I won't die, I'm going to fight. I'm going to keep going. Because I'm not dead. I'm just going to keep going. It's okay. Guys, I hope you got value. If you like this video, please share it for your boy. You know, I always speak from love. You know, thank you for all the people that joined here tonight. And, you know, I come to you as a friend. I don't know a lot of you. Some of you I do. Um, some of you I will meet in one of my seminars here one year when I give talks around the world. But I want to let you know that I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you that you're here, that you're listening to me. That you're allowing someone to pour into your life. Even though sometimes when I speak, I know it disturbs and it goes against some of your beliefs. But my intentions are good. Man, I'm so happy with my life. And I just want to share it with the world. I'm so excited. I'm so happy of all the obstacles that I went through to get here. And you're going to feel the same way, but don't give up. Don't stop. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. I love you. I'm going to tell you that I love you. And I care about you. Anybody? Because see, I was you like six years ago. I was you. I care about you. That's why I do this. I do this from my heart. I'm not getting paid to do this. You know, no one's giving me any pats on the back, no recognition to do this. I do this because I know people like you, they really want to win. I know there's people out there that bullshit. I know there's people out there that procrastinate. I know there's people out there that will always be sorry people, but that's not you. You're just trying to figure it out. But what I'm going to tell you, you're doing the right thing, but you need to separate. You got to get new people in your life. Even if you can't talk to them every day or every month. You got to surround yourself most of the time around the people that you would like to become. Listen to their videos, listen to their tapes. Go to the country club. Go to the places where they go. They go different places. They don't go. You think millionaires hang out with people that make a hundred thousands of dollars? You think millionaires go to places that make twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars a year? You think we go there? No. We're in Bali. We're in Indonesia. Hanging out. Chilling, hanging with the folks, drinking some wine. That's what we're doing, flying across the world. Hey guys, much love. That's in it with, I'm a winner. 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 Yes, 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 I'm a winner. This is Wesley, million dollar virgin. Much love. Live with passion. Later, folks.